Hey, what's going on folks? Welcome back to the Parkside Merchant Channel. I'm gonna cut right to the chase in today's video. It's gonna be a big one. We've got a 50 card PSA return that I'm opening right now. All right, folks, so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in here. This is a 50 card PSA return. Uh, the box weighs, I think about seven pounds is what it said on the label. Um, I believe these cards I mailed out to PSA in September and maybe early October last year. I don't recall specifically which submission this is. Um, I have not looked at all any of the grades, haven't looked at it at all. It was actually kind of a surprise to me to even see this. Um, this fast. I got the email from PSA like two days ago that something was completed and that it was shipped. And I was like, wow, that's kind of a shocker to me because I thought I wasn't going to see most of the stuff I did from like October, September of last year. I, I, I did not expect to see that this quickly. Um, and if you look at the complete through dates on PSA's website, at least as of like three days ago, they were still kind of making their way through early October. And this box, this stuff here, was not entered into their system until November. Late November is when this got entered. And the complete through date is based on the entered dates. So I don't know what's going on. They're making headway, I guess, going through their stuff faster than expected. But what I'm gonna do is basically uh, start opening the box here and uh, really excited to see some of these grades. Um, as I said, it's gonna be a surprise to me on the video, looking at all the grades here live. I have not peeked at any of my grades yet. Um, the other thing I should say, folks, before we get started too deep into the submission, um, th this was one of the first submissions that I did last year when I was like first getting back into the hobby. So I, my eyes were not quite as good for things like, you know, centering and some other like subtleties that I've gotten better at over like the past year. So I'm not expecting the grades in here to be too good, frankly, especially given that they're like, getting stricter and such. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a lot of like sevens and eights and stuff in here, just cause that's how PSA is these days. Um, especially considering the fact that I probably submitted some stuff in here that I, in hindsight, would not have submitted um, knowing what I know now. So that's okay, all well and good. Um, all very, uh, all very exciting stuff nonetheless. So, all right, so I'm seeing some stickers on some boxes here. Let's see what's going on. And there are 50 cards in this box, folks. We should see 50 cards. Move the big box off the table. And you can see what I did here, guys, just so folks uh, can kind of keep track of the video here. I've got my PSA 10s up in, up in this area, 9s, 8s, and then anything else is going to go in this PSA trash pile over there on the side. And I expect we're going to have a really tall pile over on this side at the end of this video, but you never know, right? Set your expectations low and maybe you'll get pre pleasantly surprised when you start going through this stuff. So. All right. Now, I know a lot of people get angry when I, uh, when I feel the boxes and open the, the light boxes first and the heavy boxes last. So I'm obviously gonna keep doing that. This box is pretty heavy. This box is really heavy, so we're gonna do that one later. This one's really light. Let's do the light box first. I know a lot of you guys love that when we save the really heavy boxes for the end of the videos. <laughs> Great way to uh, great way to please the audience here. So, okay, let's uh, let's get going here. Enough chit chat, enough chatter. Let's get down to business, folks. By the way, I'm gonna open these fast. I am not one of these folks that's like big into suspense. Like I just I'm just gonna start opening. All right, and some of you guys are gonna be upset about that, but oh, there you go. You got your advertisement for the uh, grab and flip. eBay branded, PSA branded. Um, Little card savers here. Those are kind of neat. Got some promotional materials in the box. Always got to have that. 
Move that to the side over here. Okay. So let's start off with this first stack. Oops. I'm gonna try to do these bottom first or stack them from, whoops. All right, here we go. Game time. Let's bring it on, folks, what do you say? Okay, first card. I'm just gonna basically reveal them. I, I'm not gonna do like a lot of suspense. This one's got a pretty nice looking clean back on it. I don't know what it is, but let's find out what we got. All right, PSA six. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that, folks. Some trash, blue eyes, shining dragon. What a great way to start the uh, start the opening, right? And uh, in hindsight, I mean, you can see the centering on the front is pretty terrible. So this is one of those things that I probably submitted back when I wasn't as good at kind of reading cards and reading centering and such. So we got a nice little submission over there to the trash pile. Let's take a look at card number two. PSA 9. Okay, the Agent of Judgment, Saturn, Ancient Sanctuary card. I don't know Ancient Sanctuary all that well, but PSA 9, Unlimited. Not sure that I would have submitted that in hindsight, but take what you can, right? That's, that's good. PSA 9s are good to have. Next up, we've got a Mint 9 here, Unlimited Nitro Unit from The Lost Millennium. This is getting a little bit outside of my domain of expertise. Some of those sets, Ancient Sanctuary, Lost Millennium. I really don't know a ton about these cards, but that's good, right? Mint 9, not a, not a, bad, uh, not a bad start. I'm disappointed to see all these unlimited cards though, guys. Like why was I submitting unlimited cards back in, you know, September and October last year? I don't know the answer to that question. All right, let's see what's next. What do we got here? Boom, Mint 9, Scapegoat. Gotta love that. Starter deck, Joey. Unlimited, of course. Got a nice big nine pile coming together here. All right, what are we, what are we doing next, folks? This got terrible, uh, terrible back centering, so we're gonna see a bad grade here, I bet. We got a PSA 8 Flame Swordsman. Yep, yeah, that's uh, starter deck, Joey. Not sure why I submitted that in hindsight, but that's okay. This guy's got a little bit of a boo-boo on the back, so this one's gonna have a pretty bad grade, I'm afraid. Whoa, there you go. Mint 9, Thousand Dragon. Common Edition from Starter Deck Joey Unlimited. You gotta love cards like this, folks. Like, that's great, that's great. Oh wait, did I put an eight in the, there we go. I gotta, gotta keep my piles orderly here, folks. There we go. Okay, next up. Lots of unlimited cards in this submission. That's making me a little nervous here. We got a Mint 9, Penguin Soldier, Starter Deck Joey. That's interesting. Always kind of fun. I must have been on like a Starter Deck Joey uh, like tear for some reason on this submission. Don't know why I did that, but they're, uh, they're good cards, cool cards. All right, we got a Mint 9, Time Wizard, Unlimited from Starter Deck Joey. There we go. I must have had like a really crisp like starter deck that I decided to submit cards from for some reason. I don't really know. Whatever. Um, here we go. Next card is a uh, is a PSA 8 tier gear freed from starter deck Joey. These are like all starter deck Joey cards, which is weird. There must be a red eyes in here, guys. That Or maybe there were two or three of them. So... Those are going to be exciting. Even if they're unlimited, those things are pretty cool to have slab. So what do we got next? Baby Dragon, Mint 9. A lot of nines. A lot of nines. They must have been really feeling the nines here on, uh, on this uh, particular, particular submission. Next up, what, let's see what we got here. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Oh, Mint 9. Red Eyes, Black Dragon. There you go, folks. I mean, that's pretty crisp. Even though it's unlimited, like, that's still pretty dope, right? PSA 9. These days, getting PSA 9s is, like, kind of hard to do, so. I just wish it was first edition. That would make this really cool. But it's not, unfortunately. But really good-looking copy, guys, of a Red Eyes Black Dragon PSA 9. Get a look at that. Nice. I'll, I'll take it. This, by the way, is going to hold the throne here. If you can see that. That's basically going to be our reigning champion card until we get something better, hopefully in PSA 10. 
All right, here's the final card from this stack, folks. I think it's probably another Red Eyes. Oh, brutal. Brutal. Look at this. Look at this. We got a six and we got a nine. I mean, there must have been something on it. You know, some kind of, ooh, ooh. Uh, nope, that's just dust on the PSA slab. Not to be confused with surface damage. Um, wow, I mean, weird guys, right? You get like a six and a nine in the, sa in the same, uh, same submission. And these were both like pretty comparable quality guys. But in any case, put that over there. This can go in our trash pile. Let's move on to the second box. All right, so right now, folks, we are batting a pretty bad average right now. Lots of PSA 9s, lots of unlimiteds. Let's hope that the Parkside Merchant decided to submit some good stuff in this huge stack of cards. I did just see something that says 10 on it, so I like that. This stack is already off to a better start if there's a 10 in it, so that's good to see. All right, here we go, folks. Moving on. Again, we are batting at mostly a bunch of nines, couple eights. We got this uh, Mint 9, Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Unlimited. That's currently our kind of reigning uh, champion from this particular submission. So let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. We got something next with terrible back centering. It's a PSA 9 from Pharaoh Servant, Magic Drain, Unlimited. I'll take it. Next, we have a Mint 9, Unbelievable. Another Pharaoh Servant. Shift. Unlimited. I wonder why I was submitting so much unlimited stuff last fall. Probably because I was just not really super savvy about this just yet. Um, all right, next we have PSA 8 Monster Recovery Unlimited. That's a rare. Very nice. Next we have uh, a PSA 7 here. Skull Invitation. I can go in our trash pile. Next up, this one's got a big boo-boo on the back, so get ready for a bad grade here. Whoa! We got an eight mirror wall, unlimited, from Pharaoh Servant. Oh, let's get to some good stuff here already. Lots of unlimiteds, guys. Not, not a fan of this. Okay, we got a PSA 4, seven completed. First edition from Pharaoh Servant. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, Maybe the first edition cards get like the really tough graders. Do you think that's possible? And all the unlimited crap just goes to like the interns that don't know any better. Okay, we got a Mint 9, Andro Sphinx, unlimited. Got it like that. Next up, we have Mint 9, Coffin Cellar from Pharaonic Guardian, unlimited. Next up, PSA 8, Swarm of Scarabs from Pharaonic Guardian, first edition. Not bad. Eights aren't terrible. Has registry set value for folks that are interested in some of those cards. Next up, we've got a PSA 7, Wandering Mummy. Goes to our trash pile. Next. Ooh. 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 Look at that, guys. Now, that's exciting. That's something I like. I'm interested in. Granted, it's unlimited. You know, the unlimiteds are, it is what it is, right? It's it's still a pretty hot card right here. PSA 9, Serpent Night Dragon. That is uh, that is pretty, pretty good. I actually like this one better than my red eyes. So I'm going to give this card, I mean, this is our reigning champion right now from this submission, in my opinion. Good card right there, even though it's unlimited. You get what you get, and you don't get upset. All right, folks, next up, we have... Ugh, PSA 7, Mother Grizzly. Mother Grizzly, PSA 7, not cool. All right, next we have... Whoa, look at that, guys. PSA 10, Delinquent Duo, Magic Ruler. That is... That's pretty boss, guys. I mean, that's like... That's nothing to scoff at. That's probably... Probably takes the takes the throne right there. Gem Mint 10, even though it's unlimited. Um, pretty hot card. Pretty hot. Maybe the rest of these are going to be really hot cards, guys. What do you think? The bottom pile. All right, here we go. 
I have a funny feeling we're going to find some real fire right now in this little stack. Here we go. Ready, folks? Next card. Ooh. Mint 9. Twin-headed Thunder Dragon. Metal Raiders. Unlimited, unfortunately. But not, not too bad. Not too bad. Next up, we've got Mint 9 Sangan. All right, well, it's unlimited, but whatever. Next, I graded so much unlimited in this batch, guys. I don't know what I was thinking. Ooh, Mint 9. Luster Dragon. Magician Force. I'm okay with that. Right? That's not terrible. It's pretty good. Pretty cool. I'll take it. Um, a lot of nines in this submission, which is good. Okay, next card. Another mint nine. Luster Dragon. Ooh, look. We've got a double whammy here, guys. Double whammy, even though they're unlimited from Magician Force. Magician Force is one of those sets that's not the worst thing to have unlimited as well. Those tend to do okay. Next up, we have... Whoa, look at this. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We got two nines and we got a 10. We literally got a 10, guys. Luster Dragon from Magician Force. I mean, that's a pretty boss card, in my opinion, even though it's unlimited. I think that's gonna take the reins right now as the, uh, as the, big, the big boy card over here in the throne. That's our reigning champion, Delinquent Duo. It's getting, uh, getting the boot, unfortunately. We got, ooh, look at that. Tribute Doll, first edition from Magician Force. That's kind of a surprise. I wasn't grading a lot of first edition stuff in this stack, so that's useful to somebody. It's a first edition card from Magician Force, and it's a rare. That's pretty interesting. So I like that. All right, guys, we're about to move on to the third box. We're batting an average that's like, probably somewhere between a nine and an eight. Uh, we got a couple of tens. We got a, a couple that are pretty bad over there, but you know, you do what you can. Um, okay, moving on to this next box. This is the final box. This feels like another very heavy box, so. Man, these videos are fun, guys. Like, how cool is this? Opening up a whole bunch of like vintage stuff. Oh, I see more tens in this box, guys. We got more tens. Don't leave just yet, folks. We got some more tens in this stack. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to move faster because this video is running pretty long. Next up, we have Mint 9, Card Destruction. We have Mint 9, Igetsu Fuma. Very exciting, Invasion of Chaos, unlimited. Next we have Ooh, ah, oh, man, I was actually, I remember this card. I thought this was going to grade a little better than it did, but PSA 7, first edition, Orca, Mega Fortress of Darkness. Goes to our trash pile, sadly. Next card, After Genocide, Unlimited, PSA 8. Okay, next we have Near Mint 7, Luster Dragon, Unlimited. Thanks to that centering. That's gonna to go to our trash pile. Next card. Ooh, we got a Mint 9 Spear Dragon, unlimited from LOD. That's pretty exciting, pretty cool. Next card, Mint 9 Exiled Force, unlimited. Why was I grading so much unlimited people? Hopefully I, uh, I know I did obviously stop doing that after like the first submission or two, so last year. Next up we've got uh, ooh, Gen Mint 10 there. Ryu Senchi. Too bad that's unlimited. That would have been a really nice ad for my registry set, guys, for my first edition LOD set. Next card is Gem Mint 10, Free the Matchless General in unlimited format. Another thing, like, why did I have to submit unlimited, guys? Why couldn't I have just submitted first edition stuff, you know? Really, kind of lame right there. Next card, what is it gonna be? 
Near Mint 8 Flame Ghost. <laughs> okay, that's unlimited. Next card is Mint 9 Tsukiyomi. Dark Crisis. I don't really remember that card all that well. All right. Coming down the home stretch, folks. And there are some 10s. I just peeked at the bottom of this, so don't leave just yet. Let's see what we got here. We got a Mint 9 Dark Bishop Archfiend. Unlimited. Next up, we have PSA 9 Archfiend Soldier from Dark Crisis. Another unlimited card. I must have been really, really into the Unlimiteds last fall. Next up, we have, drumroll please, Mint 9, Berserk Dragon. Too bad that's unlimited. Nice looking card right there, guys. Next up is another Mint 9, one of the Guardian cards. Now, this is first edition, thankfully. So, that's good. That's actually got some... Uh, Got some teeth to it. First edition Dark Crisis PSA 9. Not bad. So, good Parkside Merchant. Submit more first edition stuff. Stop submitting unlimited. Next card, we have Gem Mint 10 D Fusion Labyrinth of Nightmare Unlimited. Really nice to have a 10, but it is unlimited, unfortunately. Next card, we have Drum Roll, please. Whoa, PSA 5, Mask of Brutality, unlimited, mind you. That goes straight to the trash pile over there. Next up, we're coming down to the last two cards, folks. Final two cards of this submission. Mint 9, Mask of Dispel, Labyrinth of Nightmare, unlimited edition. Very cool. All right, we have our final card, folks, from this submission. And the final card is, oh, I guess it wasn't a 10. It's a, P a PSA 7 Gadget Soldier from Labyrinth of Nightmare. Okay, well, it is first edition at least. Um, it does have pretty terrible centering though. So, you know what I saw was the 10 up there and I must've thought that was 10. That's why I, I, I was mistaken. So, all right, folks, I'm not going to do a recap because this video is running really long, but you can see lots of PSA 9s, couple 10s. We got a really nice looking Gem Mint 10, Luster Dragon from Magician Force up here. That is a hot card right there. I am very pleased with that one as well as a number of the 10s that I have there in that stack. So a right, really cool video here, folks. There's going to be lots more PSA returns to come here in short order. Uh, thanks again for watching. This is the Parkside Merchants channel, and we'll see you next time.